been cast. Welcome to Next Gen Cast. Hello, once Welcome again. I know you couldn't fucking you couldn't handle it without us. It's been a it's whole been fucking well, I guess by now two weeks since you fucking upload and shit. I'm pretty sure you missed this. I'm pretty sure you listened to all of our vids and we're just like at least twice. I can't, each I can't one. fucking live anymore. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Some, I'm pretty sure like 90 percent of our subscribers committed suicide while we were gone. Yeah, yeah. There's only like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's only like the head of the, of the second one that's like listening to us. <laughs> it's like in Futurama and shit. It's yeah, like literally in a, in a head. It's like like he he can hear this episode, but it's like underwater distortion. And yeah, shit. I know, right. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so I guess uh, we're we got some you know some developments as far as the X bone goes. Oh yeah, the X bone. Oh, you, you, you like to call it that, the X bone? I think it's better than Xbox One Eighty shit. Xbox One. Xbox One Eighty. Xbox One Eighty is isn't that like more of like a compliment or no? Mm, no. I wouldn't really say that because they reversed you, their policy, so there's One Eighty and shit. But it's still less than yeah, fucking. Yeah, it's a good thing, but it's not like a good thing for them. <laughs> yeah, it's like it was made under like these. Yeah. Based on something that was negative. Yeah, all because shit. of the fucking whiners. <laughs> yeah, but they they, they, they hate innovation. Xbox 180 is like you know, made everything right, make it right. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Now Still, all you have to worry about is a fucking connect. That can, yeah. That can fucking see you whenever you beat off. Actually, man, what do you think about? Have you, have you seen Titanfall? I haven't seen Titanfall. Man. I don't know, man. The more I think about this game, it's just like... What, is this, like, generic? Yes. That's actually the exact word that I was about to fucking say. It's just like, people are seeing this game and they're, you know, like, oh, this is the killer app for fucking Xbox One and shit. It's like, dude, the graphics, for one thing, just... They don't... They lo It looks like an Xbox 360 game straight up. I'm pretty sure it was developed on 360 and then just, like, ported over to be, like, you know... Oh, really? Yeah, it looks... It doesn't look next-gen at all. It doesn't even look like... A good 360 game. Yeah, I've seen better. Like, I think Gears of War technically has better fucking oh, yeah, uh, way effects better. and shit. Yeah. This game doesn't even have motion blur, does it? No, well, it doesn't. yeah, but it's a fucking launch game. It's not even. It's fucking Holiday 2 of 2014. That's the fucking sad thing. It's like, by that time, nobody's gonna give a fucking shit. People are like, oh, this game looks good now. Yeah. But, like, 2014, yeah. dude, come on. Like... There's already going to be, like, literally 20 PlayStation exclusives already fucking, like, out. Probably way more, you know, also fucking Xbox One games, plus, you know, fucking... Dude, Metal Gear Solid Five, fucking... Dude, pretty much every game that we've seen so far is going to be out by the time Titanfall even comes out and shit. Yeah. Some fucking Destiny, Jeez. Watch Dogs, Killzone, fucking... Probably Naughty Dog's next game. Whatever, man, it's just... This game looks like fucking Call of Duty, fucking well, Mirror's you know, it's Edge, made from the and same fucking... people as Call of Duty. It's made by the ex-members of Infinity Ward. Yeah, it looks like a mishmash of fucking Call of Duty, like Mirror's Edge. I can you know jump off walls, I guess, and like the rocket pack from Killzone Three. You know, like yeah, it just there's nothing really innovative about it. It's just like a mishmash of all these different things, but with like a completely generic looking fucking like art design and it's really yeah, fucking with like, bland with all fun. the games that you mentioned like Mirror's Edge Killzone and uh, what was the other one Call of Duty Call of Duty I mean I guess all well, I guess except for Call of Duty but like all those games have a pretty unique art style yeah and, this one doesn't yeah I know that's what I was about to say it's like pretty fucking generic just even the game just like the I mean you, you look at it and it's like I don't know it just seems like it would be a free to play game or yeah something. exactly that's what I was thinking too Shit, that bad yeah like it just Oh well, man, shit! Dude, I, I like, I like mean, fucking. Played, um, I mean, you remember Warface? That game looked fucking badass. For actually, a Warface game. looks way better than that game. Yeah, it does. Uh, like gra technically, in a graphic standpoint, but like also, uh, fucking, what's that other game? Whoa, well, Hawken. Yeah. That game, that game's free to play. Looks better than fucking. Uh, Titanfall. Yeah. I don't know this this game. I don't see the fucking appeal. Also, you know that game, Crimson Dragon. Yeah. You know it's actually playable on the show floor, right? Uh, no, I didn't know. Actually, people were saying that it sucked. 
Really? Yeah, they said the controls were fucking terrible. It was actually the firstly developed to be a fucking Kinect game, and then it just got ported over. They just Whoa. adapted the controls to, like, to make it a regular game and shit. Mm. Yeah. So why didn't they have it playable as a show floor floor with the Kinect? Oh, well, they might have. I don't know. But, mm. like, people were just fucking playing. It's kind of, that kind of, it's bad, actually, because it said it's, you know, it's, you can play it with Kinect, but, like, I guess most, like, everybody was just playing it with the controller. Yeah, because, like, yeah, why would you? Yeah. And, but that's kind of, that's pretty bad if, like, even they fucking just are showcasing it, you know, with the controller rather than the Kinect, you know? It's like, okay, yeah. didn't, isn't this new Kinect supposed to be badass? Why can't you show us a fucking game that was designed to be on it? Yeah. You know? Yeah, but but of course the Kinect is going to fucking suck dick anyway, so it doesn't even fucking matter. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking, did, you, did y'all guys, uh, I guess y'all heard about the fucking pre-orders on Amazon. Yeah. God damn, dude. Like, the thing is... Like, I actually did Dude, there was actually false reports out there that were, like, indicating that fucking the Xbox One was outselling the Oh, yeah, fucking, actually, yeah. I remember hearing about that, but they... They were completely false. Yeah, really. They were completely that's completely false. Just, just like, false. Yeah, there was actually like reports like, oh yeah, uh, Xbox One outselling PS4 yeah, on Amazon.com those. pre-orders. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, not at all, dude. The thing is, the only reason why those articles came out is because Xbox One only has one model on Amazon, but the PS4 has like three or four different models, like right, man. bundles. I I'm pretty sure it has even more than that because like I looked on Games uh, GameStop.com and they had like about. Ten different uh, models. SKUs, yeah, like of like different. Yeah. Uh, they had just the system, system, the system with, with the you know the camera, the system with the game, like every game, every lunch game. Yeah. Uh, the system with like uh, you know an extra controller. It's like all these bundles and shit like that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Amazon had all those bundles. Yeah, I think that's what it was because like if you actually looked on their list, their top selling list, like all these fucking, I don't know, Review Tech USA or no, it was uh, Stone Fox Media was was saying well yeah there's. The Xbox One is is selling more because of that one skew, but then you look at the other ones and there's like number two, three, four, five, and six are like fucking PS4 skews, different ones, right, you know. Right. But I guess recently, I guess they summed up all the PS4 pre-orders, and just like maybe one or two days ago, they yeah, actually put out up. new numbers, and yeah, it ain't fucking looking too good for the Xbox One, dude. Even after that 180, I, I even fucking posted the numbers here, uh, the fucking in the U.S. The PS4 four is number three. The Xbox is number six. Jeez. The UK PS4 is number four. Yeah. Xbox is number 12. Fuck, dude. Yeah. The Germany, one, and PS4 is number one. Xbox is number 16. Fuck. God. Yeah. Damn. Fucking France. X, PS4 is number 19. Xbox is number 53. Jeez. Yeah. I was going to say, like, 19? Whoa, damn. That's not too good. Yeah. But then compared to Xbox, yeah, that's Jeez. like fucking, like... Oh. Yeah, that's like more than double, like, down the line and shit. God. Yeah. Uh, fucking... In Canada, this one is interesting because they're both of them are pretty high up on the list, but PS4 is number one. Ouya is number two. Yeah. yeah, Ouya is outselling fucking P- Xbox One and pre-orders, or just orders like purchases on fucking Amazon Canada. Xbox is number four. Man, what is number three? Do you know? Uh, the Last of Us. So it's like a Sony game. A Sony game, yeah. Yeah, God, man, it's, it's fucking crazy. crazy. Like, oh, okay, I didn't think it was gonna be that bad, dude. I didn't either, actually, dude. I didn't. I was thinking it was good. Well, maybe not even. Obviously, not even. Yeah, like, I, th- I thought the numbers might be close to like what was it? Fucking like, uh, you know, like in the U.S., PS4 number three, Xbox number six. Yeah. That's like, yeah, that's kinda. Like, yeah. That's like, you know, that's kind of where I thought it might be. But like, some of the fucking, other ones, like, like Germany. One, yeah, Germany number one to sixteen, and then what was it? France number nineteen to fifty-three or fifty-seven God, or some damn, shit. Man. Like, dude, the fuck. Yeah, uh, and man. the thing is, I mean, I, I but then again, I mean, look at America, and you know, it's fucking Xbox, you know, Xbox Not Nation, anymore. dude, straight up. It was only for one generation, pretty much. Every dude. generation in the gaming history, you know, before that has been, you know, non Xbox, you know. Yeah. yeah, I just didn't think it would come like. I thought come just to this. they got you know you know, one generation. They 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 just were king of you know the the console yeah. wars. They can do whatever the hell yeah. they want. 
Yeah, yeah they got fucking cocky as fuck, dude. Like, and way more than fucking... Them. Way more than fucking Sony did with the PS3, dude. And, like, I think we've said this before, but, yeah, this... Sony launched with their fucking $600 price tag last generation, but it was justified by the fucking half-price Blu-ray player that it was. Yeah, yeah and the, the technology that was in the system, too. I mean, yeah. the thing is, just because... Well, it, it was like, clear that they were, sell- they were selling that shit at a loss. Yeah. Even if it was at three, I mean, $600. Even at such a high price tag, what were we going to say? I mean, like, I was just saying, like, the, the technology that was in it, I mean, still looks fucking great today. Yeah, like, no. holding up to... I mean, it's not as good as PC games, but it's no. pretty fucking close. Dude, like, you play The Last of Us, it's like, man, this game looks fucking great. Yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't look like... Sometimes I play it and I, I do get tricked thinking that it's photorealistic at certain points. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. And, uh, you know, that's, that's like, a pretty clear indication, you know, that fucking... That the system still has fucking power left in it that hasn't been tapped into, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It's just fucking crazy. Um, but yeah, where were we going with this? Where are we? No, we're just we're still kind of around the sales and shit. Yeah. Oh, pretty much how like Xbox, you know? Oh, they are just fucking dude, cocky yeah. as fuck this generation. Yeah, had like a yeah a generation that you know like this generation that we're on right now. It's just, yeah, okay, they started off like really good, and you know they, you know, well at least compared to the PS3. It's just amazing how how much the tables have turned, like yeah. by so much, dude. Honestly, I never I thought think, this day would come. Like, I it was, think it's, it's, I honestly it's, believe that if PS3 was to come out the same year as Xbox 360 and it was the same price, it fucking would have changed the entire. Yeah, it, it would have, we would have seen a di- completely different outcome. The yeah. only reason why the Xbox 360 was like overshadowed the PS3 for like as long as it did was basically because they had an early start and they had a lower price tag. That's yeah. it. I mean, literally everything else about the system was worse than the fucking PS3. Everything. And every different aspect. Like, people go, oh, yeah, the Xbox Live, which was better. But, yeah, you had to fucking pay for it, you know, at first. But then, again, I don't even think... I don't even... Even whenever we first started using PSN, I didn't think it was any fucking worse than Xbox... Like, my, my experiences yeah, on Xbox Live. Yeah, I remember Live. that time whenever you... you uh, we, we fucking mentioned this shit a lot of times, I know. But, like... But I remember we were playing Dead or Alive over at Ryan. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, you know, he was a you know he was a pretty rich kid. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. Good internet. Yeah, yeah good fucking, internet. Way better internet than the average person. That's for yeah. sure. And we fucking literally dropping connection all the fucking time. Unplayable. Like, man, it was just a fucking shitty ass experience. And he was having to pay for that fucking online service. You know, I've never had to kind of deal with that with this with online services that bad with PSN. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But you know, other than that. I don't know. The, the Xbox, you know, community doesn't really have anything to to like justify the freaking the especially with the Red Ring of Death. Good god, man. Yeah. That shit just fucking like was kind of the seal on the deal why that system was like shittier and you know, I mean, I the think, only thing I that really I'm, justified that console really was just the exclusives. Yeah. But, you know, it it didn't really overshadow. I mean, Sony had stronger exclusives. I mean, it really just depended on your taste, you yeah, know. Yeah, of course. But like uh, I mean, shit. Yeah, that's why I say, like, you know, I'm pretty sure that, you know, people that fucking were on their fourth 360, you know, they're just doing it just so they can play, like, fucking Halo or Lost Odyssey or whatever, the you know, yeah. Game Dragon. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, it still doesn't change the fact that, man, if you had a fucking original 360, you're fucking pretty much guaranteed to get that ring, Red Ring of Death. Oh, yeah. They fucking, they said themselves that, like, those fucking that first first year and a half batch were, were doomed to fail yeah it's like man really that's yeah, insane like, yeah there was a like 100% failure rate pretty much right yeah on the yeah. fucking first batch of yeah. the fucking systems yeah. for that personally first year uh, well, my PS3 uh, I think the power source was fucked up so I had to get that fixed it was, I think it was like 60 bucks so that, was, that wasn't too fun and the, the second time whenever it fucked up it was actually my fault because I actually left it inside of, the, of a car in a backpack in the middle of fucking summer, like, you know, Texas, like, heat. Yeah. Like, in the hundreds and shit. Yeah. Literally probably baked it. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, probably a lot. Yeah. And so, yeah, of course it got fucked up. But, you know, other than that, I mean, yeah. The- Dude, my, my friend's CD player melted in his fucking car. 
Shit. Like he had one of those boom boxes and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He left it on the back fucking like a uh, seat. Yeah. And the sun was just bleeding in, and it fucking literally melted his fucking CD player, dude. And it was shit. insane, like <laughs> melted it. That's you know yeah that, 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 that I'm pretty sure the PS3 wasn't at fault in this situation here. You yeah. know what I'm saying, like, yeah, that fucking shit literally the the top of it, the top of the CD player literally was like caving in I, I onto ought, its itself. Like I, I ought to bring over the P, that PS3 over. I still have it, so, so I can show you guys. What, what happens is that it'll fucking like you know you'll just be like either playing a game or watching videos or whatever, right? And all of a sudden. You know that fucking effect whenever, like, uh, like in movies, they'll, they'll be playing a movie, like, you know, like a film reel? Yeah. And for some reason, like, the, the tape the fucking, like, breaks. Yeah. And you see a bunch of, like, white dots, like, fucking spread out on <laughs> yeah. the screen. It would do that? It would do that. But, like, instead of, like, just white dots, it'll be, like, these, these it, rectangles that have, like, a outer layer of, like, bluish, purple fucking, like, hue... <laughs> and it would just like pop up and then that would just freeze that's crazy I'm pretty sure you're like what the fuck is this yeah. shit god damn I, I, ought, I ought to bring it over <laughs> fucking crazy ass shit bring over your TV I don't fuck my shit up dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, I guess another topic of discussion here is uh, fucking Don Matrick resigning oh, from right. fucking from fucking X- or Microsoft jumped ship <laughs> jumped that sinking ship Man, into another, in, like into, into another thing. Man, thing some shit. people are like, some people are actually defending this whole thing. Like he just fucking resigned and shit. You know, it's like he, dude, like you know, he went to, uh, he went to Zynga, you know, uh, you know, by his own choice to like to help out a uh, a, a dying company and bring it up off the ground and you know. Uh, how how the, fuck the fuck do you even know that? Fuck, I know, like that's Z- Zynga is fucking like dead as fuck like, yeah they're dead they're dying <clears throat> and then they hire the fucking guy who's like a spokesperson a spokesperson almost single like the most... brought down the entire fucking system and shit yeah it's like why the fuck would you trust this guy to bring your company like down like you know bring it back from the fucking like rubble and shit yeah like how the fuck does you do do you make the connection well if you don't like uh well, playing think... angry birds wait no, that's not them no. that's rovio what the fuck what? am i doing if you don't like playing uh you know, Farmville. Farmville. You, 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 there's another game. That's a, uh, that's a. Uh, oh shit! There's no other game. <laughs> God, that's like literally all they're known for. Really, is Farmville. I cannot name one. Farmville. Well, game. all the Ville games. Cityville, or, Armyville. I'm pretty sure there's, it's got another name for it. But yeah, they <laughs> have a fucking dang. army one. Man, like what the fuck, dude? Like how the fuck? Does this guy actually... Man, I think he fucking, like, had this position tied in. Like, he was just... He had this position sealed, like, long before he actually made the fucking yeah. jump from Microsoft. I think... He, Not saying we know for sure, guys. We're just Dude, come on. Speculate. How else could this be... I'm trying to look at the... Okay, see. Yeah. Okay. In comparison to these other people's theories, like, oh, he just wanted to help out a dying... Dude, come on, man. You fucking have a position at one of the biggest fucking corporations in America. Man, actually, you know, you're getting paid actually... millions of dollars, and then you're gonna sacrifice that just to fucking like go out and help out some fucking well, dying I mean, company. Shit. Come on, dude. I mean, I think I heard Zynga was paying him fucking like. Did you actually hear how much they were paying him? What? I think they actually gave him like forty million dollars stock in the company. They gave him uh, fifteen million just to come over to Zynga, and then he's getting paid like five million a year on top of that. Man, I remember Review Tech USA did a fucking video on this. He, I think they have a term for this sort of situation with fucking uh, high level parachute? CEOs. Yeah, the golden parachute. Golden yeah. parachute. Yeah, basically it's like these high level CEOs that are just like so fucking up there that they basically can, they don't have to suffer any sort of like consequences at all. They can just jump around. They have like you know, just because their name in the yeah. industry, like fucking what's his name, uh, uh, the guy that was in South Park. What was his name? The guy that's in... Trey Parker? Oh, yeah. uh, fucking... Uh, Matt Stone? No, not the, the guy that was part of Microsoft, right? Yeah. Peter uh, Moore? Yeah, Peter Moore. That guy. Like, obviously, he could get a job anywhere. He fucking, like... If he says he's going to quit whatever company he's at, he'll yeah, just he, get a job he, anywhere he, else. He literally had the same position as Don Matt. Well, I don't think they... I think he was head of marketing, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Peter Moore was. But, yeah, I mean, fucking... 
they had pretty similar positions at Microsoft, and then they just both jump, you know, fucking uh, Peter Moore is now, like, what, CEO of fucking Yeah, EA and you also have, what's his name, the guy that was with Sony at first, now he's with Microsoft. Uh, Phil Harrison? Yeah, Phil yeah, Harrison. He didn't do anything to fuck up his position at Sony, I was just like Well, a, I mean, people are saying that he actually is one of the people that helped bring down the PS3 in the initial launch part of the, you know... Perhaps, I don't know. Well, then and now he's bringing down fucking Microsoft because he's like ahead of the fucking marketing division of uh, Microsoft. Microsoft Europe. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. It's like these, these fucking CEOs, they, yeah, they have golden parachutes. They can just fucking fly around, get, literally get, get paid to fuck up, you know, fuck shit up. Yeah. Like Don Matrick, literally, like I said, he, you know, he might have not single-handedly brought down the Xbox One, but, like, he, he was the he one that, that everybody pointed <laughs> man, the, the thing is, like, to. you also have to think, like, man, he might have just quit, not only because of how much fucking Zynga was going to pay him, but because of... His fucking reputation. No, because, man, to be honest, he, he probably had the fucking hardest job, trying like... Trying to sell yes. Yeah, shit? trying to sell the fucking Xbox One. Yeah. Like, I could tell, like, whenever people kept interviewing him, like... Yeah, I mean, what the fuck else are you going to say, you know? Like, yeah, well, and he's I mean, like, oh, yeah, you know, if you're in a submarine, fucking tough <laughs> luck. I mean, it's like, it's, that's as fucking nice as he could put it. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, we have another offline device called the Xbox. He's not going to say, oh, yeah, the PS4 is going to have on offline service True, also. True, but, I mean, they could have just, like, avoided that altogether. Just, like, not mention it. Yeah. Well, I mean, people like, asked him about it, though. See, what he should have done is he just should have tried to sell why the DRM was needed. But he, you really can't do that. But just no, lie about it. You know what I'm saying? At least, you know, like don't say, oh, buy a fucking eight year old product if you want to play offline. You know what I'm saying? It's like buy yeah. the old shit. That's that's like slap in the face. Yeah, yeah. No, especially whenever people are like obviously thinking like, okay, I want to buy a next gen system. Yeah. Like, this is next gen we're talking about. Yeah. If you're not gonna offer me used games, then I'm just gonna buy a PS4. And I mean, that's who why, is, that's who, why fucking PS4 is not selling. Who is Don Matrick kidding, dude? He like people are like like Microsoft is going to support the Xbox for the next year and a half. Yeah. Like a year and a half from now the Xbox 360 will be dead. Like yeah. no fucking games coming well, out. They already quit supporting it. I mean, at least Sony's like actually going with their word and like uh, make, yeah. making sure that the PS3 has a 10-year lifespan. Dude, That's why they, they have so many games. That. They have a track record to prove it. Microsoft yeah, doesn't. The Xbox, yeah. the original Xbox, whenever they fucking when the Xbox 360, 360 came out, completely, you know, disbanded the whole fucking that was it. Xbox. Yeah. Same thing with Xbox 360. Maybe, maybe except for maybe like the launch titles. Maybe I don't even think there's any uh, games coming out for the 360, like first party anymore, right? I'm pretty sure they've all shifted to Xbox One. Yeah. Shit, dude. Yeah, I don't think there's any new exclusives coming yeah, out. The, the only, the they, only they didn't talk about any. The Sony only uh, cross generation game that I remember was the fucking King Kong game. Yeah, I mean, I think they came out with like Madden and that, and for that a couple was more years after that too. I think. Yeah, it yeah, was, it was on PS2. It was even on yeah. PS2. Yeah, it was. It was, it was on PS2, uh, Xbox, and Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. And you know, like I think the only games that they really came out, I think Call no Call of Duty 2. two yeah, it, Call of Duty 2 was a well. It came out on Xbox, but it was a completely different game, yeah, right? Yeah, it was actually one of them was Infinity Wars, and one was Treyarch, actually. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, they're. They don't. They have a track record of not supporting their fucking hardware after the new hardware is launched. You know. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. So so much for that offline device. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, just I just can't believe Don Matrick like was able to fucking like just jump ship and just literally gain from it. You know, it's like, yeah. oh well, you know, I fuck this shit up. I'm now I'm just gonna jump to this other company and, you know, fucking. Fuck okay. that shit up, <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna get paid big for it, man. Yeah. Like, dude, like, what, where the? Well, I'm pretty sure he's not thinking, oh, I'm gonna fuck this shit up, but like, dude, come on, man. <laughs> like, I, I know he's not thinking that, but he is going to. Yeah. Like, I'll guarantee you that now the Don Metric is like, head of that shit. That dude, he can't even fucking... handle just like PR department of a fucking company. What, what makes him think he can actually run a company? Because yeah. he is now CEO of fucking Zynga. Yeah. He has a top position, and he's, he's making the all the decisions. He's on the board of directors too. Well, I mean, he's the fucking top level fucking employee. Yeah. It's like how the what what makes him think he can fucking run an entire company just because he was a fucking PR guy at fucking Microsoft. I know. It's like, dude, did you guys like why did you guys even let him on if you like, just, yeah, I just, mean, not not even like have him as a PR guy at Zynga, but just like CEO. It's like what the fuck? Like what the fuck makes you think this guy knows yeah, how to run that was run a, big a, ass fucking a fucking jump. huge ass corporation like what the fuck makes you think that? 
I don't know. Man, did, did, are they just completely unaware of his like fucking like lack of the, fucking? Yeah, uh, just is this the recent events that have unfolded? Maybe maybe he was like a double a double uh, employee. <laughs> I almost feel like he had this job secured long before he made this, you know, fucking yeah. jump. Because, like... No, dude, Zenga sent... Oh, man, I'm always fucking making this Zenga was like, I like where this guy is headed, man. We need to off make, him, make him an offer, you know? No, 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 like, they sent him, like, okay, no. you're, gonna, you're gonna fucking go... The double there. agent and shit? Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna sabotage Microsoft, and you're gonna come back to us and make it look like you're just jumping ship. Yes, master. Who knows? That that's that actually is a slight possibility, but like, no, why would Zynga care about Xbox's future? Uh, what is that? No, less competition. Yeah. Uh, Zynga? Take, take, take out the big fish, and you won't have to worry. Um, that's right. There's still like two other companies, like Sony and Nintendo. One at a time. A big, a big, yeah. They they got they're not even involved in the PC market either. Like, fucking Zynga makes Facebook games. Like, neither of those fucking companies even are involved with this Facebook games. This is before they reveal their master plan. <laughs> Dude, we're just joking, man. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fucking... I don't know. Zynga, I can't believe that, like... Man, is Zynga really that fucking profitable? Fuck, they only have, maybe, like, maybe three, it is. Maybe, maybe there's something that we're not seeing about Zynga. Shit. Fuck. I mean... The thing is, like, all they've done is just fucking, like, rehash fucking Harvest Moon. With Farmville? Yeah, and fucking Command and Car- Carker. Conquer? Command and Conquer. Or whatever fucking RTS game was out before yeah. then. Just put it, in, you know, put it on Facebook. God damn it. Dude, they're, they're already been, they've already been replaced by Candy Crush. Have they? Uh, fuck, everybody that I've known fucking like every my fucking dad's uh, mechanic he was fucking talking to me about Candy Crush god that's ridiculous yeah yeah I know a car, a car mechanic yeah that's so retarded in a way like it's actually very retarded and all my like 50% of my family members on Facebook are like sending me requests still for Candy Crush that's fucking crazy I know like it's a straight up fucking bejeweled clone yeah but it's like it's this successful. It's probably more successful than Bejeweled right now. I wouldn't doubt it. Just based on what you told me. I mean, I know Bejeweled was like pretty fucking popular on yeah, phones and shit, but like, no, not shit, not 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 in this level. Man, fucking Don Masher, dude. Talk about a fucking a lucky motherfucker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just. I'm pretty sure that $40 million stake in the company is, like, just so he can actually give a shit about his job and yeah. try to make it fucking go up. Yeah. Because if his stock goes up, then he's going to get way more money than he than he does with yeah. his annual salary and shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, his fucking... Man, so The amount is... of stock he has in the company is, like, what? Like, fucking 20 years of fucking work at the company? That's how much stock he already has there. Yeah. Man, it kind of fucking scares me because, like, if he actually is successful on, like, relaunching this company, man, that's going to be bad for fucking, like, console gaming, I think. Yeah, nah. it is, but, like, he's not going to fucking... Dude, he, I what know the, the, fuck, I know, I know what the, two what the fuck are you even worried about? Me? Like, dude, this guy fucking brought down the fucking Xbox just fucking because he couldn't handle PR, and now he's fucking running a fucking whole company. Like, yeah. he doesn't know how to fucking run a company. He has no fucking experience at all. Like, especially a company that's already on its last leg. Yeah. And people already don't even give a shit about it. And, yeah, you know, I like, guess you're right. There's already so much competition out there that's, like, better than fucking Zynga. Yeah. Like, nobody gives a shit about Zynga, you know? Yeah, this they, 40... they had their fucking game, and that was it. You yeah, know? dude. The, the, if there's anything we've learned about fucking, like, browser games like this or fucking phone games... Is that, dude, they're not going to have loyalty. Yeah. No, like, fuck no. The fucking... Especially, dude, that's how the casual market is. Yeah, like, that's like, why, like, like, like I just, fucking, like... Like I just said, fucking mechanic, fucking, like, you know, my family members that don't, that don't usually fucking play video games like that. Yeah. Uh, dude, they're not going to fucking, like, oh, fucking... Yeah, they're going to fucking the play... The next Zanga game. No, yeah, no, they're just like, oh, okay, like, they're going to play, they're going to just pick the fucking top games on fucking whatever exactly. fucking app store, like, oh, yeah, Angry Birds, uh... Fruit Ninja or whatever, uh, fucking Bejeweled, whatever, yeah, Bejeweled, fucking Candy Crush, Crush, fucking whatever, you know. It's just they just bu- they just play the games that's most popular at the time, and 
I don't know. Just to kill just, time. Yeah, they don't exactly. fucking yeah, like right you there. said, they're not they're not playing the games based off of like which company made it. Like I mean, if that was if, if that was the case, then the Wii U would have been a fucking overnight success. Yeah, yeah. Because you know that's the fucking casual market that the Wii U was. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's the problem with the casual market is that they don't they don't like they don't look into shit. I know. That's like that's what the whole casual market is about. Like, yeah. if you're try, if you're a company trying to for survive in the casual realm, you're not gonna fucking succeed yeah. because no, going you don't, have, you don't market, have any fan base clearly, at all. That's why, the arcade, a, that's why the arcade industry failed. Yeah, well, it's clearly mm-hmm. a fucking gamble. Like yeah. straight up, way more of a gamble than like, you know, just like going for hardcore like users yeah. or consumers. Yeah, the arcade industry was, like, consisted of the same type of people, like casuals, that were just like, oh, this is a fad, you know, people, this is where people are at, you know, the games, yeah, are, the games are quick to pick up, and, you know, whenever games started getting really complex, it just died off and shit, you know, they liked their Pac-Man and their shit, you know, you had, like, you know, your your hardcore people there, too, that, like, played games like Defender and shit, and, yeah. you know, but, like, yeah, when, whenever those games started hitting... You know, the fucking arcade industry just fucking straight up died, like, almost overnight. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the same thing will probably happen with the cell phone market. People will just, like, probably, I don't know, man. Well, people, well, well I don't think so, people, because it's going to be on your phone. You, yeah. you know, it's not going to be, like, at a place oh, you yeah, have to you, go. You have to go yeah, to, yeah. yeah. But, like, I'm, but, yeah, the fucking companies are just going to shift. Yeah. I mean, constantly. You're going to have, you know... Pretty much, if there's a successful game, it's just going to be like their 15 minutes of fame. I know, yeah. like if the Ouya ever my, my succeeds, my if the Ouya ever succeeds, it's not going to be like, oh yeah, you know, like this this like you're saying, like oh yeah, you know, we're going to release a system every year. It's like, man, I wouldn't be surprised if the Ouya just lasted one year. You know, I mean, yeah. that's how th- that's how things work in their market. Like, I don't yeah. know why people even decide to get in that market yeah. as if it's something Crazy. safe. You know, that's like why Sony is like appealing to just hardcore gamers because they that's the market. That's that's the loyal fan base. Yeah, so those yeah, are people that the, care know, about like, oh, what, wait, this company is doing this. Oh, um, you know, it's people that look up game news and shit. My, yeah. my, only, my only worry is that like the whole like mobile or casual gaming market like basically, at one point, like becomes like it overshadows the the fucking console market. Yeah, it in, it in pretty much already lot. has as far as like the amount of people that play. Yeah, games. the amount of people. But, yeah, like, but if it just becomes like a more. Uh, like financially, you know, successful. I think it already is. No, it it is. But think, but like we've been saying, you know, it's just just too much of like of a gamble. It's too risky to fucking like put all your cards like in there. Yeah. Or like you know that that's why it's I not think like a yeah like as far as an investment yeah. goes into like the, producing the consoles them. aren't going to go anywhere anytime soon. I don't think. And if they do, they're just gonna like they're just gonna turn to PCs. Really. Actually, I think Sony is probably playing it the safest because they're bo- they're both. Uh, catering to the fucking hardcore market and the indie market, so like yeah, people can no, get their true. casual fucking experiences on yeah, you the got fucking your, PS4. You got your yeah indie market on the on their on their shit. Yeah, pretty much, dude. They're like very strongly supporting the indie market, which is which is a really good thing for this like kind of shift, you know, like supporting both, you know, and you know, I just like my main worry is that like the fucking like market share of like. Uh, casual games becoming so high to where like big name companies start investing money into like fucking like these mobile games and shit it's like it's not gonna <clears throat> happen no I think I think most of those companies are already aware of the fact that like you know whenever you're in the casual space you don't you, you don't have a following you yeah. know you just yeah. have your 15 minutes of fame and yeah. that's it yeah you, people only fucking look at like the top game that's it they yeah. go to that part of the menu Top free games. All right, uh, I'll just go uh, try this one out real quick. Do a few microtransactions and yeah. I'll be done. Yeah, Dude, like they're not gonna be like, oh wait, fucking Rovio. Oh shit, I, I like Angry Birds. Who made this game? Rovio. I'm gonna follow. What? Yeah, I'm gonna f- keep an eye on this company. No, they're not, they, don't, they don't do that. Maybe like you know, fucking fraction of of you know the fans. I guess if you can say fans, but. Yeah, like I said, fucking just people that just fucking aren't into like hardcore games or anything. They just get these games to pass the time. Yeah, they don't get it to like, oh, I'm just gonna fucking to invest time. You know, like yeah, like fucking exactly. Yeah, they're standing in line for something. Oh, okay. Well, that was a good time to fucking. <laughs> yeah, standing in line for the next console. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. 
Don Matrick, dude. He fucking... I don't know what the fuck this guy's fucking feature is, but I already know he's going to fuck Zing up. Like, dude, they're, they're not the only company out there making fucking, like, mm, casual mobile games and shit. Uh, they're, like, they're definitely not too big to fail, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he... Man, he's he's taking a pretty big gamble doing this, actually. But, you know, what else was he supposed to do? Yeah. Pretty sure Microsoft was going to end up firing him anyway because yeah. he was just fucking their shit up. You know, they, they already had a shitty product to begin with. But then they had, on top of that, they had a guy who, like, literally did the worst job at selling it, you know? Damn, like, how the fuck do you get paid that much? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you suck that bad at fucking selling the product that you're supposed to fucking sell. Well, I mean, I, you know, honestly, like, I think, like Brian said, I mean... You can only fucking dress up a turd so you know so much. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I just feel like if you're getting paid that much, like millions of dollars a year, yeah, your, your, your whole you, life you, is gonna revolve around like trying to fucking think of ways to fucking like dodge questions, pretty yeah. much. And this know? guy didn't do that at all. He just took the money and just like, oh yeah, I'll just go out there and fucking just talk. Tell people, yeah, just, just fucking spew speak, some bullshit. Speak, yeah, speak what comes to my mind. Yeah, just improv. It's like you know? he didn't do his homework at all. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I mean, like, somebody like fucking Angry Joe, you know, is going up to that Major Nelson guy, which is another guy that fucking... Yeah, some fucking up. schmuck like Angry Joe. No. Dude, this guy doesn't get paid <laughs> shit. Kidding. He doesn't get paid shit, and here he is talking to a guy that then gets paid millions of dollars to sell a product, and he fucking makes an idiot out of him. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. like, man. And, and just using common sense. Just common questions that you would have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this guy is like, can't even answer him, like, fucking properly yeah he can't even fucking like do yeah, his job it, it, but getting it literally. sounds like he just fucking got him he, like he was like a total noob yeah like not even like somebody who took like you know fucking marketing classes just some layman guy yeah just trying to sell this fuck like there might have just been some fucking Joe Schmo like wearing a fucking like Microsoft badge just talking about the product maybe, maybe like a an angry Joe <laughs> <laughs> some Joe Schmo angry Joe Schmo <laughs> but yeah I don't know, like, I just, the, that interview is just so fucking overwhelming because of that fact, like, you have this random guy, he, he's a fucking, he's not even that big of a YouTube celebrity, you know, he has a following, but, like, he, he doesn't make that much money doing his fucking YouTube videos, but, like, he, he's able to just fucking hand this guy his ass that gets paid millions of yeah. dollars to fucking sell a product, yeah. you know? That, that, when you put it that way, that's actually pretty satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> it's... <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty. I mean, of course, the guy still go, get, goes home to fucking millions, but still, yeah. that, that one moment just fucking. He just got demolished got by fucking like some grilled. fucking, some fucking, low life in his eyes. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And he didn't even know it. He probably just like, I'm making millions of dollars. I'm always right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he probably didn't even yeah. fucking know that like the damage that he fucking caused. Don't you know that you can share your game? Yeah, but what about people that don't have internet? But you don't get it. <laughs> You you get to share your games. That's basically dude, what fucking happened. Dude, that guy's fucking tactics are so fucking lame. Man. <laughs> He's like, you you want to you want to be part of the future, right? Right? Okay, yeah, okay, like okay, uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. But you know, you're not the only choice. You know that, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah. There's two other fucking competitors uh, here, you fucking idiot. Especially like as far as like you know what people actually are wanting. You know, like there's like the whole situation. You know, whenever they were E3 was going on, there was like. The make or break deal between what people were gonna buy was the DRM, and Microsoft didn't get the memo at all, and they were yeah. just like fucking going with DRM, like, oh, you know, it's fucking, dude, this is, this is the reason why you're gonna want it, and yeah. you know what? I I don't think prior to this whole thing, I don't think Microsoft had any sort of like team or research team that actually looked out, like seeked out information, like just public opinion. Yeah, like they couldn't have. Because they literally, no they literally went into this E3 with like not even like a fucking like not even like a focus clue. group. Yeah, exactly. Probably. Like, uh, what would you, how would you feel about uh, you know DRM? But you know you can't, you know, tr say you know use your you know trade and use games and stuff. No fucking surveys at all, dude. Yeah, Nothing. I mean if they did, then they just probably had the worst luck, like fucking so, ever. Because the information how, how do you, was how do you out feel there. The information DRM. was out there. Well, I would love it, dude. It's the future. It's innovation. The thing is, like, how the fuck could Microsoft not catch wind? Like, a single employee at Microsoft not catch wind of the negative PR that was going around months prior to the yeah. fucking E3. Like, it was all negative. And they went out there. It was like, yep, it's all true. 
but you're gonna love it. <laughs> oh, that's the, that, that's the fucking that's the fucking catch, dude. Now it makes I'll sense. Fucking, they I are lo- gonna have I love features, that attitude. But we're gonna love it. I love that attitude. You just don't know it. Just just take the time to fucking experience the fact that you can't you know trade in your used <laughs> games fucking, and then you have name? to. Didn't Jay Allard say something similar to that? Like, oh man, just trust me or something like that, or fucking like saying. Just, I remember we would always like say something like that. He would. He was just like, like during uh, some blind E3 interviews and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, like he jump in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. it's like, dude. It's like, dude. Just fucking. I'm not gonna fucking shove a pineapple up my ass, dude. Just fucking just do it, man. You, you might just, like it. You might. You, don't knock it till you try it, dude. You don't know what it feels like. No. Yeah, I don't know. So but I mean, Microsoft uh, just has a history of doing this type of shit, like just fucking telling people that they're gonna like. Oh, you're gonna like it. Just do it. You know. Yeah, just trust us. Jump in. <laughs> like that was their slogan for fucking Xbox 360 for the longest time. Yeah, it's like, it's like jump in. T- t- take a leap of faith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Fuck. Just give us your money, <laughs> and you know, just t- just fucking just take a chance, dude. You <laughs> might like it. And if you don't, it's going to be too late. You already gave us the money. And you're going to buy another system anyway because we gave you a fucking faulty hardware and shit. It's like, dude, man. It just still baffles me to this day that people fucking support. Dude, Matt, dude, this is the only fucking system that's ever, ever come out that had a fucking failure rate this high and was still Before just it even came supported. out. Yeah, and it was still supported. That's fucking amazing. Dude, remember the fucking kiosks that were fucking like at stores and shit? Like, yeah. Prior to the launch of the 360, mm-hmm. remember the reports? Yeah. Oh, the, the kiosks are all failing and shit. They're all yeah. fucking breaking down. Yeah, I remember. I remember, remember going remember, to a fucking... Like, yeah, a recorded oh, yeah. that recorded it and shit. Where was it? Uh, Best Buy. Yeah, yeah. that's right. It's fucking like... Just fucking wasn't even on yeah, and shit. Actually, yeah, but what, what was the shot? Ring. It was just the screen, right? And you just like go down, and it's like it's the like, red ring of death. Yeah. yeah, I was like pretty close <laughs> to the launch. I remember. Yeah, too. I was like maybe within like two or three months of oh, the fucking launch. Right. And shit. Yeah, that video was hilarious. Yeah, God, I can't believe fucking how fucking kiosk. ironic that was. Yeah, it's a kiosk. It's supposed to fucking God. It's supposed damn. to fucking sell the system, and it's just like red ring of it, death. This is what you're buying. Like it's pretty fucking representative of oh, what you're buying, fuck. dude. Completely representative. God, how fucked up is that? Yeah. How how did people just like keep buying that fucking system? I don't Dude, get it. I like I, I've, I've I've like encountered people on YouTube that the have said they bought up to like man. five systems, five fucking three sixties. Like man, like I remember the PS. We bought like what three PS twos? Yeah, but that was just because we fucked them up. Yeah, yeah. we modded them. Yeah, we modded them. We opened them up. We actually tinkered. We fucking got our screwdriver out and we fucked it up. Remember that one time we actually fucking soldered it. We tried to turn it on and it just didn't work. Yeah. yeah. So we fucked that shit up. Yeah. yeah. But like this thing with the... Dude, if you, if you flip the system, fucking shit's all fucked up. Scratches your games all yeah. up and shit. Dude, actually, to this date, both Xbox and Xbox 360 are the only systems that I've ever fucking played that actually scratch your fucking discs, period. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Like, remember our Shinmu copy? Yeah, we couldn't even fucking yeah. play it. I know, it scratches so bad that we couldn't even get past a certain part of the game. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it was it only solid, scratch. Yeah, it's it just like a scratch, like a circular scratch, because you know it's spinning and it's yeah. like, it's something uh, in the tray. Fuck! If yeah. it was like a fucking uh, vertical like scratch, then it wouldn't be too much of a problem. If it's a fucking like Deep ring fucking shit, ring. Yeah. it's like a fucking hole. The it's hole. a barrier, dude. It's literally a barrier. You can't get past this part of the game. Yeah, it's like fucking one big scratch. The lasers like. Pretty much doing a fucking merry-go-round through that whole scratch. That like, yeah, yeah. No way like, is it gonna fucking read it. Yeah. And that was the, that was a system that you couldn't even turn on its side. It was just sat there, put the game in, let it and take it out. It's like, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, yeah. That's literally what happened. I was like, wow. Like, none of my failing PS2s ever did shit like this, dude. I, I literally, even if I take this fucking shit back. To fucking GameStop, they're not gonna fucking buy it back because it's been over a month, you know. Yeah. And I, they're not gonna buy it. Or like, oh, we can't take this back. So your your warranty's out. Okay, well, this shit fucked up. You know, obviously I didn't make this fucking scratch. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get yeah. my fucking like stencil and fucking make a perfect circle <laughs> with fucking like, you know it's what I'm like saying? Like spinning on like your CD player and get like a, a scalpel. <laughs> It's for a second? No, just for a second. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm fucking perfect ass circle. No, I get those fucking like record like needles. <laughs> Ow, I put this shit on my record player and I thought it would play and shit. <laughs> I thought it would play the soundtrack for me. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Fuck. 
I seriously just cannot fucking even comprehend. I'll never understand it, dude. It'll be like one of the biggest mysteries well, of fucking people life. People love their Halos shit. and Blue Dragons and Lost Odysseys, dude. Dude, it wasn't even fucking Lost Odyssey and Blue Dragons. Those games didn't even sell that fucking well on there. They were just exclusive, and that's really the end of it. People didn't buy that system to play RPGs. They fucking bought it to play fucking Halo and Gears of War. And Call of Duty. Call of Duty, but that's multi plat, so they can't even give them that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah, and here's the thing. I mean, people are already getting kind of tired of, you know, Gears of War and Call of Duty. Yeah, and Halo. Well, I guess not really. Oh, yeah, Halo, yeah, yeah, they yeah, did yeah. come out with this decent one recently that a new team made. But like, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I just, yeah, Call as far as Call of Duty goes, man, that that fucking franchise is on its last leg, especially since the new one doesn't even fucking like, you know, measure up to fucking yeah, like. It chooses a gimmick. Yeah. Oh, we got a dog this time. Cute little dog. You got this fucking. It's a cute little dog, but you know you don't want to piss it off, bro. So it's gonna chase down people with armed guns. <laughs> God damn it! Like an army of people. It's like, Ugh. God, imagine shooting like. like a, a, ima- imagine, imagine that shit. Like, there's a scene in there where like there's like a hillside and you, all these soldiers are, like Rrr, running down this hill, and there's just like a single dog chasing. Them might as well. Shit. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> shooting like randomly in the air and shit. <laughs> Just run into a net. And <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> it's getting kind of late, so we probably ought to be wrapping up. So, um, yeah, we still didn't get to our fucking Metal Gear Solid Five trailer Oy. analysis, the gameplay. But we're going on a different video. Yeah. God damn! How late is this shit gonna? Be? Is that shit gonna be? It's gonna be the best, most in-depth fucking analysis ever, though. People you fucking like, so in-depth because we compiled all of Yong Yaz information. <laughs> Did y'all check that fucking yeah. article from CVG Computer and Video Games? It's called Metal Gear Solid Five: The Conspiracy Theories. Mm, no. Man, the fucking shit's stupid. Yeah. It's so stupid. Wait, you know, is it like an know? article that uh yeah, that just like is like an analysis, like what, like a uh, speculation? Yeah, there's like yeah. A, there's a theory that like that that Man. fucking Gray Fox. boss is Gray Fox. Yeah, Gray Fox. Man, no, you think that's stupid? Check yeah, actually, I do Young, think it's Young stupid. Young did two fucking videos about this. Yeah, shit. Waste, actually, waste listen, of a video. I listened to the first one. And I was like, Why are you wasting your time with yeah, this guy? Wh- like, yeah, he, he's literally just replying to one guy, right? Yeah. Or, like, why the fuck are you wasting your time? It's whenever he's so fucking, fucking stupid. Yeah, and then the second. And then the second video, it's like, okay, dude, you're getting trolled. You're getting trolled. Yeah. I don't give up. a shit. You're getting trolled. Man. This guy is saying so, like, such stupid shit. Dude. He can't take this shit seriously. Why, he's why, you're, he's why trolling you, you. Like, why are you wasting, like... Which one are you talking about? The Gray Fox one? Yeah. 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 No, like, you seen all the videos on that? I can't uh, believe I made a thing. second I video. Like, I thought it was kind of stupid, so I didn't even watch it. Yeah, he's literally just replying to, like, some guy that made, like, an article yeah. or something. I, th- I think or, like, it's a video. Analysis, or, yeah, he's just... Proving him wrong, I guess that guy maybe made another video trying to prove we yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just went back and yeah, dude, no, man, it, dude, I feel, it's stupid. Yeah, it, it is. It's so fucking dumb. God damn it! How it fuck? It's like it's almost like obvious that the guy's a troll, dude. Like it, it's yeah, it, it is because it's obvious that it's Big Boss in the fucking trailer. Yeah, dude, come on, punished snake. Yeah, oh, fuck that's dude. his fucking name. It's yeah, like, the fucking eye patch is a binocular, dude. Man, what the fucking, fucking piece of cloth? Is like, okay, it's a binocular that fucking predates the fucking solid eye. Yeah. Dude, like, literally every single piece of dialogue in there. Here, check this out. All right. Will David Hayter return? Behold, new Coke theory. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no. It's, this has to be like. Wait, is this somebody that's this, this just has like to be latching a satire. on to hope? Yeah. Uh, for David Hayter? And yeah. Shit? Oh, my God. Wait, this has to fucking, be a fucking, like. No, dude, satire. this is like a. It has to be. Uh, yeah, go ahead and tell us about hold it. Hold on, wait. There's a fucking whole, like, picture and shit. Wait, hold on. Man. Dude. David Hayter's gonna voice Solid Snake in the game. He will. I already know he will. Hold on, this is... Uh, but... Maybe... Not Big Boss, dude. The main character... Like, Solid Snake is gonna probably appear at the very end of the game for, like, a minute. Yeah. And then that say Solid Snake's gonna have one line of dialogue. And, and, and even still, I, I still, I'm still even having my doubts. It's gonna be David Hayter. Yeah, who knows? You know, who who really knows? But yeah. I, th- I think it's a pretty strong possibility, but we'll see. You know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah. like, that's completely up in the air. I mean, I'm just personally think it's gonna be David Hayter just to make that kind of like solid kind of like, right? 
no pun intended, but like solid kind of like jump, you know, like into the into the two timelines. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think that'll be kind of like the nail in the coffin. Like, oh shit, this is the real branch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Between the two storylines and shit. But yeah. Uh, There's something that some somebody made. In the days leading up to the Konami pre-show, H- Hater kept making cryptic tweets about his voice, despite knowing about the changes already. And then it shows his tweets. Yeah, of course. And then it shows, let's see, too. Immediately after Sutherland was announced as the new snake, Hater wrote that it, uh, what seemed to be a bitter, sweet, or a bitter tweet about the <laughs> affair, uh, referring to Kiefer and, by extension, Metal Gear Solid V, to New Coke. The infamous new form of Coca-Cola introduced in the 1980s to widespread dislike. After New Coke's introduction, Coca-Cola reintroduced classic Coke to a massive boost in sales versus competitor Pepsi. So do you think they're actually... That's, like, so fucking ridiculous. Why would fucking like, David yeah, Hayter like, just, like, say that? No, no, but why would Kojima, like, actually get a fucking Hollywood actor to fucking, like, voice fucking, yeah. just, like, tell everybody, like, oh, this fucking... At this point, it would, like, be very, disappointing. Yeah, it would, it would be a vast disappointment to people. It's like, oh, shit, finally a Hollywood actor fucking playing Snake. And yeah. I was like, nope, just kidding. You ain't getting that Hollywood actor. Yeah. You're getting the same guy yeah, again. You're, you're people getting... would be like, well, fuck. I was like, also, why, s- why would this Hollywood actor agree yeah. to do that? Yeah, it's almost like, you know, fucking denouncing him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's... It's hurting his own, like, reputation in a way because, like, he's not as good as David Hayter or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that could be something yeah. that could be drawn from that. Yeah, and it's just, like, amazing. Like, you're going to take from that tweet. It's like New Coke. Like, yeah. what's, what's, what's more plausible? The fact that he's, like, bitter about, like, you know, and he thinks that it's going to be the New Coke and people are going to, like, yeah, not I think, I think this guy was Or just, that this guy was just they're doing on. it on purpose to fucking, like, oh, this is going to be, like, New Coke. And people were going to hate it, and they were yeah. going to be like, eh, surprise! We're going back to old code. Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, this guy was just like, he saw those tweets that he made, and he was like, kind of like, you know, hoping that tweet, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hater would like voice Snake, oh yeah, man, maybe these are, he's like, you know. Grabbing that fucking shit. I know, and then, and then, you know, that was, that was like the, the one of Grabbing the. Grabbing that fucking needles that yeah, are already like, in the hay- haystacks. Once, once Kojima made the video about Kiefer Sutherland voicing Snake, it's like, that all was, that shit was out the window. Yeah. It's like, so so it was already extremely him. iffy to begin with, like, if Hater was going to voice Snake in the first place, because of, like, how, you know... He's supposed to be an older character, and, I mean, a, a lot of people would agree that, you know, David Hater. I mean, I, yeah, he can make himself, I guess, sound like an older character, but then... It's forced. It sounds forced. Yeah, how are you going to compete with somebody that's actually Old. that age, yeah. and, of, of course, is going to sound that way? Yeah. And, you know, as far as we know... Has better acting ability. Yeah. Yeah. And is and facial. Not, not even that, but also on top of that, is highly renowned act, a highly renowned actor. Just on top of that, he's he's a better actor. He already suits the role better, and he's a fucking well known actor. Yeah. So like, why the fuck would Kojima just throw that shit out the window? Well, yeah. By the way, what do, you, what do you guys think about this life pollution? It's uh, yeah. it's ominous, dude. Dude, fucking. Yeah, I think it's the fucking shit going on down like on 225. What's going on over there? They're having some fucking what do they call it? Like a flare or something like that. It's like where they fucking have a massive fucking number like burn all this success shit that they've been collecting. Something's in the air tonight. Yeah. yeah. Like whatever lighting that we have, it's like reflecting off of the clouds, and it's like coming down on us. It's like really eerie. Right. You. Yeah, it's like really orange. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's the fire from the chemical plants. It's, God, metal, it's getting brighter. It's a Metal Gear shit. I know. It's like I can see the fucking that shit like clear and sh- I can yeah. see everything. Out yeah. Here and so it's, clear. Yeah, and it's fucking like two a.m. and shit. Yeah. Dude, it, it's o- it's mm. almost like daylight. I just hope it, it's on a nuke that's like you know the shock wave is like on its way and shit. <laughs> 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 God, I just hear static. <laughs> hey, like you don't upload it or anything. <laughs> this is outdoor edition, people. Yep. That's right. We're doing it just for you. But yeah. Anyways, uh, was, was that the Master Theory fucking article? No, actually, there's more to this thing. Let's see. Let me see. God, dude, that's already just fucking stupid. I can't believe somebody actually tried to make that connection with New Coke and how Classic Coke came back and shit. Let's see. Okay, here's what he says. More. So like. Fully aware of this, Kojima launched his most elaborate ruse yet, New Snake's introduction, followed by the re- re- reintroduction of S- uh, Snake Classic, 
in order to boost sales. He instructed Hader to leave hints in the form of his cryptic tweets seen in Section 1, as well as mentioning new coke in Section 2. Likely, this will be unveiled at some time during E3, perhaps with Sutherland and Hader in costume as li solid and liquid. Wait, what? Perhaps with Sutherland and Hader in costume as solid and liquid. Wait, what part did you not catch? The, the, oh, go back a couple of lines. They're gonna, re, you know, they're, they're gonna be reintroduced as like new Coke, right? And then, then what? Uh, let's see. As well as mentioning new Coke, six two. Like likely, this will be unveiled at some time during E three, perhaps with Sutherland, Sutherland and Hader in costume as uh, solid and liquid. That specific. Yeah. yeah. Off of fucking tweets. Yeah. What the fuck? I I don't want to believe that this is real. This guy because. If Dude, it this is, is a fucking long ass article though. It's like this is this guys, could be like a huge waste of life to yeah. fucking like oh, troll this shit, fucking much. Dude, you never know. Anyway, okay. What are they? What are they gonna fucking do? Like, you see, get it? New Coke? <laughs> what? Well, I don't know. The whole, I mean, Kojima's explanation for Moby Dick Studios wasn't very, uh, like, it was kind of like that, and actually. Whoa, wait, wait. I mean, he was just saying that, like, the whole, the, what, the whole, like, marketing scene or something, I guess, of, like, video games was getting kind of dry or something. Yeah, but yeah. this is taking it to the extreme. And yeah. also, really he came, tricking he came people out with into videos. thinking Hollywood actor is going to be playing yeah, Snake. He came yeah, out with, like, tricking... videos of, like, trailers of, like, fucking Phantom Pain and shit. We're talking about, a, like, pieces of, like, just, like, little paragraphs of, like, text on Twitter. And that's not even a, a, a Kojima Productions employee? Yeah, not even, no. And if even it, having him appear on if, IGN? If anything, yeah. he's like, he's the closest thing he is, It's he's more of a contractor, if anything. Yeah, or just a fucking freelance voice actor. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Uh, I, I, yeah, no, there's no fucking reason to believe any of that. Mm -hmm. No fucking substantial, like, evidence. So this guy actually believes that fucking Hideo Kojima... It, for the for the sake of sales, is going to reannounce fucking Solid Snake's voice actor as being David Hayter. Yeah. That's literally impossible at this point. I know. They've already made the announcement. People already have accepted the idea that David Hayter isn't going to voice Snake in this new game. And accepted the idea that Kiefer Sutherland is going to be voicing Snake. Yeah. Yeah, Kiefer fucking Sutherland is going to be voicing him. So like, okay, well, fuck. You know, pe um, all those people that were like... Man, fucking, you're not having David Hater, you know, and then like, oh, Kiefer Sutherland's doing, it? oh, okay, yeah, well, that's you know, okay. that's exactly <laughs> what 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 happened to me. Yeah, like, that's exactly well, you know, that whole like new Coke thing that kind of pushed things along as well. But I mean, yeah, also the fact that they're using fucking uh, facial capture. Yeah, it's like uh, okay, what the fuck, David Hater ain't gonna be doing this fucking job, guys. Sorry. Yeah, that, that's that's another reason why I don't think he's gonna be. Solid Snake necessarily it's because they're probably going to be using you know that for his character as well yeah obviously like f dude oh my god this has to be the fucking like nuttiest dude, fucking this guy's crazy. actually fucking posting articles for like one of the biggest game sites and shit yeah oh my god what the fuck Guys. And, 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 and it, I've seen like a couple of uh, articles, probably by the same guy that did the master theory or whatever, trying to like decipher what, what the hell was going on with like the Phantom Pain shit and stuff. And then he fucking like, you know, and now he's making this, he's spewing this fucking bullshit. God yeah. damn, dude, this, this articles are like literally like five pages long, dude. Like he types this shit up like just, man, literally a waste of life fucking like <laughs> speculating this deep well I mean uh, it's a waste of life to you it's a hobby for him maybe so or her <laughs> you don't know god damn it dude man that's so fucking gay dude I can't even fucking like why would Kojima do that and, and, and not even that but on top of all of this like all of the voice actors are changing all their voice like Ocelot's voice Actually, besides besides Cos Miller, I think all the voices are different now, right? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure so. Pause is gonna have a different voice actress. Chico's gonna have a different voice actor. Yeah, they're not uh, gonna Snake, fucking Ocelot. I think the only one that fucking is actually 
still voicing. Well, I think Pause is going to have, you know, she can still have the same voice actress, I think. Possibly, but I'm just saying it's a possibility yeah. that it could be different knowing that all these other people have different voice actors now. Yeah. It's like a different type of experience. It's a different type. It's more serious and more like wanting to be taken seriously type of game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, uh, they have the money now to fucking invest in like higher caliber actors. Yeah. Why the hell would Kojima do this? Why would he fucking, just as part of an elaborate ruse, fucking go through all this shit with fucking Jeff Keighley, fucking yeah, the just, announcement. Just for a voice actor. The pre-E3 show announcement of Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland actually voice acting the thing. Yeah. Why, why would he fucking do that? Oh yeah, Kiefer, we're gonna fucking hire you. You know, we're gonna put these dots in your head and you're gonna even actually, we're gonna show like Snake's face with yours and shit and then, you know, and then we're gonna announce that you're not actually voicing. Will you do this job? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, come on, Just dude. Because, and you're going to be replaced with a fucking, like, you know... A great yeah. B fucking this, this voice ruse, actor. Yeah. This ruse wouldn't have, you know, taken place, like, as long as it has, if it is a ruse. Maybe, like, a month. Maybe. But we're at the point where if it, if it turned out to be a ruse, it's like... I, 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 don't, I don't even know how I would react. Like, yeah. okay... Uh, I'd, actually, I'd actually react negatively at this point. I'd be like, I was actually kind of wanting Kiefer Sutherland at this point, you know? Yeah. Like, you already sold me on it. He was in the fucking trailer. Yeah. You know? Even even Cos Miller had the same voice actor, but he sounds completely different in this game. Yeah. You know? And and now you're going to go back with old, like, the David Hayter? I mean, fuck. What the hell, man? Like, I would actually... I would actually kind of be pissed at this point, to be honest with you. Yeah. Like, it wouldn't be like, oh, Kojima and his genius fucking marketing. Yeah, he's so cool. No. It would actually be like, why the fuck did you go to this extent just to fucking, like, make headlines? Yeah. You like, know? Yeah. It's just way too much effort. Yeah. And way too much, like, wasted money, probably, to fucking hire a Hollywood actor just so you can, like... Just act like prank. he's literally, literally ha- have an actor act like he's going to voice this character, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it, it's not looking too good when it comes to like you know. We David needed Hayter. we needed a Hollywood caliber actor to act like he was gonna play Snake, but really wasn't. We had we had to have somebody that was convincing enough to. To sway the people to be- yeah. into believing in, in, that, in a that way, Hall of if, 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 it, if it was a ruse, I wouldn't be pissed. You want to know why? Because that would prove that David Hayter is that much of a badass actor. But it's he's, he's, a, he's, he's able to fuck. No, he's able to fucking like get on an interview, fucking look the part like he's fucking distraught, greasy ass hair and face, fucking like tweets and shit. Yeah, and tweets. Piss. Fucking like yeah. Yeah, but if, if that was if, then I would say wow. He's a pretty fucking badass as fuck actor. But we all fucking know that's not the case. Yeah. We all know that it's real. This is actually happening. It's not... He's he's getting canned. That's all there is to it. You know? Yeah. They... they you know, Kojima has way more money now to invest in a fucking Hollywood fucking voice actor. So he's taking the liberty upon himself to do that. Yeah. You know? It's like... And, and on top of that... God damn it, guys... We're talking about Big Boss here. Big Boss. Yeah. Not Solid Snake. Who might I mean, actually still be in the game. Yeah, who might, you know, and, like, even if you don't, he's not, I mean, okay, he can't play as Big Boss at this point. Not whenever he's, like, you know, about to be 50 years old. Yeah. Like, what, you're going to fucking have him, like, make that you know, old Snake voice? But then, like, you know, you're going to accept that and also accept the fact that he sounds totally different, like an MGS4? What mm. the fuck? <laughs> no way. Yeah, what? I mean, the thing is, even whenever I played, like, MGS1, all the MGS games up to 4, like, I always thought that old Big Boss had a different voice than young Big Boss. You yeah. know, I never thought it would, like, old Big Boss would sound the same as, you know, David I mean, yeah. you know? yeah. you're right. And I, I mean, yeah, really it, thought about it, but you're right. Yeah, yeah. and I guess it kind of goes against about, like, you know, the Jack, you know, <coughs> Akio Otsuka, because he is playing, but but then again, he can pull off that voice. Yeah. He can pull off that older character. More genuine, because he, he already has that kind of voice to yeah. begin with, you know? 
Snake, even in MGS1, you know, he, he it wasn't his genuine voice, you know, like, Akiotsuka was always kind of just like, you know, just acting, you know, kind of like, almost as himself, but David Hayter, even if it was like way more like slightly in the fucking first game, he's still kind of making a, a badass voice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it just got way too exaggerated towards the end. Yeah. And then he what, added too much of the really snakiness. Sound, badass. <laughs> Yeah, he, he should have just fucking... He should have just kept it with that freaking yeah. initial voice, man. He just We already fucking made it. Whenever he talks in interviews, it sounds better than it does yeah. in the fucking game. Yeah. Like, way like, more like Young he, Snake. He, he, even like in MGS4, snake. whenever he was in that commercial and he was just talking, I was like, okay, that's MGS1 Snake right there. Uh, uh, why don't oh, we just do that, that voice? M- Metal Solid 4 video? Yeah. It's like he's all talking yeah. and like, you know... I mean, there's no... Because, I mean, there's no reason to fuck... Yeah. I mean, you don't, like, you don't hear a fucking older character or, like, a person sound that much, like, more drastic. Unless he had, like, throat cancer. Yeah. And we're not talking about a guy who had throat cancer. We're talking about a guy who's, like, you know, or a character called Snake that has accelerated aging towards the point where he's an old man now. Not a guy who has fucking, like, a fucking scraped throat. I know, like, literally fucking, like, had a grenade go off in its fucking mouth and yeah. shit. You know? Fuck. And thing is, Snake looked old. Well, he looked old in MGS4, but he, he didn't look fucking that. He wasn't, like, code talker or anything. You know what I'm saying? From, yeah. From, from fucking Phantom Pain and shit? He yeah. wasn't, like, he wasn't, like, I'm on my last leg. He looked, he, he looked you know like he saying? was about, like, what, like, 60-something? Maybe even younger than that, dude. Like, my dad's not even guy. 60, and he has more wrinkles than fucking Old Snake did. Mm. Yeah, but I think well, Old Snake just looked like more older. I guess. Fuck. He had white hair, fucking sad fucking hair and shit. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I don't get it, dude. Like, fucking, he wasn't, th- he didn't look that old. He looked like he had aged oh, 20. Oh, uh, speaking of, of your dad and comparing to Snake... You guys won't believe this, but their dad, like, fa- like the facial structure, he looks just like, like Snake in MGS4. <laughs> we even made those pictures. And yeah, shit. Oh, you, you need to fuck. You, you need to find a way to fucking post that. I'll post them in the video, dude. Yeah, fucking. If you're listening to like this, you know, just look at the time. I know you're not gonna do this. My if if anybody's picture. looking at it or <laughs> listening to it. Go, go to like at this time and just like go to the video and check it out. Okay, we probably ought to be wrapping up now because uh, we've been saying that we were going to wrap up for like 20 minutes now. But I uh, um, just want to say that, you know, glad, just to reiterate what I've been saying the past couple episodes, glad that we won. You can call us whiners all you want. Doesn't change the fact that you fucking lost. You know, fucking innovation my ass. Uh, and that's all I have to say so far about that. And uh, too bad about Hater, but too bad about, you know. Logic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, see okay. you next week. Well, we, 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 uh, we, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm just going to echo what you said about uh, us winning. Yeah. Nah, like the, fu- the future does look brighter without Microsoft being part of the picture. Uh and I'm kind of glad that people really fucking are waking up to this whole thing. Uh, you know, after they've been getting screwed by fucking Microsoft since, you know, the beginning, but especially since Xbox 360 and, you know, the people literally standing up to this shit and, like, you know, kind of almost like forcing Microsoft out is probably, like, extremely healthy for the future of gaming. I'm finally glad people are coming to their senses and realizing, mm. the, uh, you know, literally what was at stake if they kept like let it, allowing themselves to get fucking screwed over by Microsoft and you know yeah finally people woke up yeah they finally noticed the lack of lube yep <laughs> alright um I just want to know what the fuck Microsoft was thinking by like <laughs> releasing this fucking system with like a connect and then pricing it a hundred dollars more than their competitors just to have that connect in there but I mean obviously we know the reason why is because they obviously do want it to be some type of spying mechanism for the system. And, um, I mean, this is kind of... Yeah, pro- like, just the fact that they've been 
putting like you know spy software in every copy of Windows since Windows ninety five. This just coming out like officially. Yeah, this you know, a conspiracy. You know, tinfoil hat shit. Yeah, I mean, this is like Microsoft is like pretty involved with the NSA. I mean, they've been involved with them for the past, you know, since 1995, I guess. And, um, you know, I think people should uh, some, do some research about Microsoft and, you know, Actually, find find, find out. You're saying something about this recently where, like, people just blindly kind of give, like, are these companies, like, leeway without even doing any sort of research about what, what's at stake? You know? Have yeah. Have you about that? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's going to you know bite people in the ass you know if you don't you know really pay attention to what these companies are doing and you know you're gonna end up going yeah i mean you're gonna end up like you know going to jail because you fucking looked up some or you just said you're gonna smoke weed or some shit you know and the connect pick up picked it up i don't know (laughs) but like i mean it's it's possible yeah (laughs) connect's gonna stop by your house and take you to jail dude yeah so the, Take you to the camp. Yeah, so just chat. to echo what they said, the, f- the future of gaming looks bright because they're not going to be involved with it. So, yeah, I mean, I'm freaking glad as fuck to hear that the uh, pre-orders of PS4 are definitely outselling the Xbox. Uh, so, yeah, so, I mean, I'm glad that nobody's going to be buying this piece of shit and, you know, everybody's, I feel like there's uh, the majority of people already are aware of the NSA situation and, you know, just kind of putting the two to, two and two together about, you know, Microsoft's online policies, always online, you know, and the DRM and stuff like that with the Connect, And it kind of, kind of points in that direction that they're going to be using it for, you know, bad things. So, all right. Oh, one more thing. Casual market. It ain't as safe as, it ain't as prosperous as uh, people were saying it is. Obviously, from what we've seen. And that's it. That's all I had. You know, that's it. All right. Uh, Tune in next time for the uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 uh, gameplay portion of the trailer analysis. We're finally going to get around to it. It's going to be the most in-depth. It's going to be the most in-depth shit you're ever going to fucking see, dude. So so tune in to the next episode of Next Gen (laughs) Trailer.